Hello and welcome to this video. Um, in this video, I am going to show you um how to do a basic multi-threading application. So I'm going to open up a normal um, Windows Forms application. Um, I'm going to call it multi-threading tutorial. Oh, that's spelled wrong, but okay. So here in my form. Um, let's resize it. Let's add two labels. And let's add two buttons. And let's place them um, somewhere like that. Or just how, uh, how, yeah, I don't know how you like it. I just do like this. Um, so I want to change the text of label 2 to 0 and label 1 to 0 you can leave those, I leave those like that because just say example um, so what you want to do is uh, select the labels and go to the property bar and here is the auto size make sure it's false and now you wanna ah well it's just right so let's go to the code of button 2 um, and let's create a private sub so private sub c1 standing for counter 1 and let's dim a comma b as integer um, in the declaration so not actually in a sub um so what I want to do is when I press this button I want this one to be uh counting till 30 or something. So I'm going to type in the button code I'm going to type in C1 so it's navigating the compiler to this sub and in this sub I'm going to type in um a simple uh do until so do until um a equals to a value so I'm going to use 30 for example and then type in loop oh that's spelled wrong like that so now we have this I'm going to type in a plus equals 1 so it will be counting up a value uh, oh sorry um, and now I'm going to show it so I'm going to apply it to so label 2 dot text equals a dot to string if you want to do that um, I'm typing label 2 because this one is label 2 and not label 1 as you can see right up there um, so right now I'm going to type in me dot refresh so we can actually see it because in a thread you can't see it when you are um, not refreshing the form so now I'm going to type in uh, system dot threading threading dot thread and then dot sleep so we can actually see the value changing let's do 100 or something and yeah then under the loop action there I'm going to type in a equals nothing or zero so let's check the code out uh, see now it's counting but when I, what you can notice um, I can't move the form or when I press the close button it won't close so it will close after this timer has been done so when I'm going to create the same code for this button I'm going to create a C2 I'm going to copy the sub and changing this one to C2 and make sure to make a uh, B B um, label 1 and then again B and here also B uh, like that so when I'm checking it right now again uh, this one also works um, but when I press button 2 it doesn't work um, right now I press button 2 and now press button 1 and this one is starting to count when the uh, 
this timer is ready or finished so this one is coming to kick in um, but what if I wanna do like that and now those two uh, are at the same time uh, running like I want that so there is multi threading for so in the declaration I'm going to type in t1 comma t2 as system dot threading dot thread and in the form load event I'm going to type in t1 uh, equals system or uh, I mean uh, so t1 equals new system dot threading dot thread and then uh, you can choose two functions or two uh, things address off and function so I'm going to use address off and now the actual um, sub and in this case I'm going to bound t1 to the sub c1 and now I'm going to type in t2 equals new system dot threading dot thread and then address off c2 and now you want to do this because um, I don't know why I found it on the internet on some kind of blog and you have to do this otherwise there will be an error I'm going to show you how it works without that kind of code so it's me dot check for illegal cross thread calls and then equals to false so it wouldn't check it um, I'm going to comment this one out but first we have to change the code a little bit to to make it work like we want to so in the button 2 code where it's saying C1 we want to change this to um, T1 that start um, meaning it, it will start thread 1 or T1 which is a thread and then associate it with the sub C1 so it's actually going to do this and I'm going to change the C2 function in this to T2 dot start like that pretty easy actually so I'm going to start right now and when I press any kind of button it will give an error see and it's showing you this label to the text to equals a dot to string it says it's not um, something like valid or something and it's uh, showing you um, how to make thread calls cross th cross thread calls in a windows forms controls um, well there is that particular code coming in when we delete the quote so it's again code again and when I press a button it will work see and see now they are both both running oh <laughs> ah well never mind this um, so damn it um so what you can do is copy this code or cut it into here let's first stop debugging of course um paste it in there just right right above it and copy this one just like at the same place at there um so when I debug it again, it should work right. See now, if I click most uh, more times than one, um, it's actually calling more threads. So it's actually um, doing uh, like if I press ten times this button, it will uh, execute the code C2 ten times. So it will be actually um, speeding up. Um, but now we can see this so now we can use um, some threads uh, the thread counter and sleep um, uh, well while it's not freezing your form so yeah uh, thanks for watching this uh, video uh, feel free to comment rate subscribe or email me um, email address is at the description of the video so thanks for watching this video again and I'll catch you later